a service that does smaller jobs like cutting grass and painting cottages and uh, fixing sheds and decks and do it on time and on budget. And uh, when I was uh, driving the water taxi, I sort of had this idea in my head and figured that I'd start some sort of maintenance business up like this because uh, no one in the area was doing it. And then I did a painting job with a friend of mine and uh, we quoted the job, it took us three days to do it. And we each made $1,000. At the time, it was taking me uh, three weeks to make $1,000 at the marina. So I figured that uh, it was a great way to make a lot more money and have a lot more fun because you could be your own boss and uh, you know, make your own hours and that sort of thing. So I went to school thinking I'd be back at the marina. The owners actually uh, told me that I didn't have the job the following summer. So I uh, talked with my dad. We decided we'd start up this business. Uh, he gave me the money to buy the barge uh, as long as I promised him that I would make enough money to pay for my schooling. And so we looked in the paper, found the barge. It had Big Red Pontoons. And we came up with the company name Big Red Works. And from there, we got our first customer. Um, I'll never forget, I, I phoned him from my residence room, told him I was uh, running this business and that uh, to see if he had any work that he would need uh, done over the summer. He said, yeah, I'm having a shed built and I need the ground leveled. Uh, can you do that? I said, absolutely, no problem. I hung up the phone. I was jumping up and down in the air, so excited. I had a company, I had a, a name, and now I had my first customer. Uh, I quickly remember thinking that I didn't know the first thing about leveling ground, but I knew I'd figured it out pretty quick. So uh, after that, we've been in operation for three years now and uh, haven't looked back since. EQ Media actually started as a class project in September 2006, where students were required to invest $10 into a business. So with the $10 I had, I used the skills, um, which were marketing and design. I had been able to take all my electives at NASCAD for fine art and design. I started doing design work for charities and societies on school campus. That semester and four months, I managed to make $8,500. And I thought, well, hey, if I made that much in four months, why not continue? So I did. And in the following months, we continued to increase revenue. We branched off in offering further promotional services to venues in Halifax and all other businesses in Atlantic Canada. And that was where the idea stemmed from. Well, uh, I started 6AM Software uh, a few years ago, basically. I got the, uh, the idea for the first product uh, for my company while I was in high school. Um, I was uh, taking a uh, computer class at the time, and uh, you know we were coming up, for, uh, coming up with ideas uh, for like our class project and um, you know our, t our teacher at the time had uh, thrown out the idea of uh, an application to uh, simplify scheduling parent-teacher interviews because my high school at the time was having like a lot of trouble organizing and uh, you know dealing with all the calls from parents and everything so uh, yeah I basically took uh, took that idea and ran with it and uh, created my first uh, product which is called uh, Optus the uh, online parent-teacher interview scheduler it's uh, you know, a web-based system that allows uh, parents to log on uh, through the school website and um, schedule their interviews uh, online. So, uh, yeah, I basically just took that uh, idea and ran with it. I come from a, a family farm. Um, my dad farmed and my grandparents both farmed on, on both sides of the family. So uh, I guess I was kind of inspired to, uh, to st start farming myself by my parents. I run a 240-acre uh, grain and cattle farm. Um, so we have beef cattle, I have uh, cereal and oilseed crops, so canola, flax, uh, wheat, oats, uh, barley. Devin Holensky. And now, let's see what our six young student entrepreneurs have to say about their greatest difficulties or challenges. Well, we faced quite a few. I mean, the number one challenge was still uh, legalizing and consolidating the market. Um, it was tough to do because you have to go to the publisher, you have to go to the songwriter, you have to go to the artist individually. Uh, luckily we found a company that could do a great job for us and they aggreg aggregated the market for us. And that's uh, Graysnow. Your lyric find is another option, however, uh, Graysnow was uh, better suited for our needs. Um, so that was probably our biggest challenge. The second biggest challenge was ramping up our traffic and getting to the size that we are today. Uh, today we serve about 32 million unique visitors every month. Uh, we reach about 1 in 10 Canadians and we actually operate the largest uh, website owned by a Canadian company. So we're bigger than the Government of Canada's website, than the Weather Network, than the Toronto Star, uh, Canada.com, pretty much any Canadian website you could think of, we're bigger than them. I would say the toughest thing is uh, time management. 
I always have, uh, I tell my crew every day, I have a uh, hundred different things on my mind 